Our next competitor represents Germany. 15-year-old Hugo Willy Ehrman, second junior Grand Prix season, 17th last year in Anya, the final competition, 15th this year in the short program here in Gdansk. He'll need a 120.36 to take the lead. He's going to skate to one of my favorite pieces, Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. Well, he didn't disappoint with his interpretation to Anna Rigby. Great job with finding the musical highlights for Hugo Herman. And as Daria Grimm and Mikhail Savitsky cheer him on throughout the program and now at the conclusion, it's just important to acknowledge this athlete has had serious injuries in the off season mm -hmm. and so not able, understandably, to deliver what they're capable of. Yeah, and not only the injuries, uh, you know, affecting the technical elements, but also affecting uh, the training. Mm. Because you could see there was some fatigue setting up, which which you can't you cannot perform at the highest level with fatigue, and if injuries have prevented you from doing the type of training you need to to eliminate that fatigue. Fatigue. Now you saw a beautiful triple loop, double toe loop there. Mm. Certainly has great jumping skills. There's the triple toe loop, hangs on, kind of steps forward there, and we're going to see the whole step sequence. Look at that sliding wow. spiral, just awesome. And it was so on music as well. Good movement and. Push. This is amazing. I want to learn how to do that. Yeah, no. 
not me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, so great. And he left a lot of energy for this sequence at the end of the program. It was very dramatic and very powerful. And interesting, he wor works with the Yachty Politzowakis and Robin Tweedy on the choreography, both ice dancers, and you can see that. Ice dancer. Oh, influence. ice dancer's taking the credit again, yeah, aren't you? you know, yeah, aren't those you? Ice dancers. I have to start to, um, I don't know, check your script or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think his jump technique looks like it. It will quad. Oh, he. This is a very strong, strong athlete. No question. Mm. The efficiency now, the quick, how quick he gets off and off the ice and into the rotation. That'll depend because he's not small. Like no. He's, you know, fair, not, he's not tall, but Strong. he's going to need to be very, very quick for those quads. But he has the power, no question. He competed at the European Youth Olympics, and it's a wonderful picture of him in the kiss and cry, receiving his results en route to fifth place at that event that encapsulates the relationship that he has with his coach and shows the mm. joy that skaters get when they get... You know, the scores and the results. When they achieve they a goal. When they yeah. achieve a goal. And it's not only his goal, it's probably the family goal, mm. the coach's goal, the club's goal, you know, and to share it. It's wonderful. And a, a dream that takes over so much of the brain space in every waking moment, really. And when you realize it, because, you know, those dreams sometimes are fleeting. Yeah. You know, you have the dream, but you just don't know whether you can get it. And then sometimes your dream is, you're dreaming bigger than the, the capacity. You yeah. don't know, right? So... 100.91, that is third in the free program for Hugo. And a total score of 152.95. That'll put him currently, at this point, into fourth place. And there is a look at the top five on the leaderboard so far in the event. 